Jack Trent finally steps down as uh, president of Sony Computer Entertainment. It's a shame, you know. But a lot of people heard this and were like, whoa, what the hell? Right, because nobody expected this to happen. Nobody really understands the reason why. I mean, they kind of send out press releases and whatnot. They actually have his replacement already on board, ready to go. But, you know, for the Sony guys, you know, Gary, you're a Sony guy, you know. What does this mean for you, you know? What does it mean, you know, for you in the long run? You know, how do you interpret this news? Well, first of all, is there an actual like, reason he left? Because uh, I didn't really research this that much. Uh, from what I know, his contract was just up, and he just decided not to renew it. Uh, I mean, they never really explicitly came out and said why. I mean, they gave the PR answer. They, you know, he, he spent all this time there, and it was the best things ever or whatnot. But, like, no specific reason. Because I know I've been trying to look at different spots, you know, different pieces of info, and they're all pretty much the same thing. Nobody's really, you know, knows exactly why. I mean, but we can figure. I mean, we can kind of see, but read between the lines. It is because you know, PlayStation Four is fucking trash. So I mean, you might as well. Leave. <laughs> Control mode is activated again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how you think I'm about to say something intellectual? <laughs> All right, nah, but go ahead, Gary. Uh, I mean, to me personally, it doesn't really change much. I mean, he was he was good for um, you know hosting E3 and everything, you know, um, doing the whole presentations and all that kind of stuff. I give him, before I continue, I give him a lot of props because when the PSN network was down, he dealt with a lot of hell. And also when a lot of the leaks happened for the Vita, he went through a lot of hell, especially going up during E3 and having to deal with that. So I give him a little bit of props for that. Oh, yeah, he, he's definitely, you know, been through the paces. Like, he's he's had to overcome a lot of obstacles in his position, but... um. No homo, but yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, as far as him leaving, for me personally, it doesn't change anything. Like you know, it just means someone new is going to take over, and hopefully they take the company in a good direction. That's all it means for me. I mean, I don't really have much to say about it personally. Yeah. What about, what about you guys? Yeah. yeah. What about you, Rich? What do you, What do you think of this? You know, Jack Trent stuff and that. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, yes, this guy has a, is a good personality, very entertaining during E3. I, I recall being at E3 when he took the shots at Xbox One for all of the policies and all the reverses and changes and stuff. Yeah, it was entertaining time. Um, but needless to say, you know, I know the change was needed sooner or later. Uh, I'm not really sure what his next, where he's going next. Uh, although I did read the open letter in which he said he's he's very much looking forward to what's next, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what that is, um, but overall, it's um. I mean, I guess it was time for a change. Uh, yes, he did deal with a lot of the issues when they had problems with the Vita. They had all these other problems with the PSN outages. So, but as you know, Sony already they always have this tendency to have likable people that eventually they just leave. Look at what happened with Kevin Butler. Uh, this guy is just the latest person that's going to be stepping away from the company, so I look forward to seeing who they intend to, you know, replace him with. I, know, I heard of the guy, although I did not see this guy. Maybe he was in one of the other little conferences that they had. Uh, I don't know this guy personally, but we shall see what What's next for Sony? Yeah, on apparently, that? you guys apparently Ed or JJ, you guys have heard of um, the guy who replaced Jack Trenton. Like, who is that guy? Uh, okay. oh, I'll, get, I'll get his name right now. It's it's Sean. Uh, Sean Levy. Sean, uh, Sean Levy. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I'll, well, right. who I'll is tell you right now. Hold on. Is, he, is he good? Yeah, yeah he, he's part of Sony, so I'll tell you right now, like what his exact thing is. I know. I know. Uh... Uh, JJ said on the chat, he's like Sean Layden. That's his Sean, name. Sean, yeah, Sean. This guy is, is replacing him. And I put, oh my god, fuck that guy. I hate him. I didn't know. Who <laughs> he he's was. actually Sean Layden. He was a he was originally a was it a, a Sony Network Entertainment International EVP and CEO. That's what he was. So he's been he's obviously been with Sony. So okay. nah, I, don't, I don't really know him, but uh, mm, you know I can't. I don't know. We'll just. I guess the real test to see if he's cool or not is just E3. You know, that's when we. We'll know going into E3 this year when we go see him at the Sony press conference. We'll see what's up. Well, see that's, that's what I meant. Like E3. 
this year when we see them in a conference. But uh, that's when we get to judge these people, even though it's kind of fucked up that we judge them for that stuff. You know, oh. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's hard to to make to do a press conference in front of that many people. But uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So significant enough. You know, especially with the shock value and how, like, sudden it was or whatnot. But, you know, hopefully things change for the better. Things are cool or you whatnot. It's funny, though, like, um, mm -hmm. this whole next-gen thing must have been really stressful because, you know, you had Don Matrick leave from Microsoft and now Jack Trenton leaves. I know his contract was up and everything, but there had to be something there that made him think, you know what, I'm going to take this opportunity to get out the game. But, you know, there had to be a reason. So Probably. Could this whole next gen thing be like really stressful for these people? We don't give them enough. But credit, I think so. I think with with uh, Don Matrick, it was kind of because there was reports about like he wasn't really living, you know, where his living arrangement was or whatever, and uh, and then you know he actually left for another position. Where in this case, it's like Jack Trent, like like okay, where is he going? Is he just Retiring or what? He hasn't How said yet. So. Yet. Yeah, but even even with the Don Matrick news, we knew like immediately. Hey, I'm leaving for Zynga. Yeah. How old is Jack Trenton? Is he like retirement age? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he was with Sony for 19 wow. years. Wow. He was with Sony for about 19 years. So. That's horrible. That sounds horrible. <laughs> he's up there. He's not up there, up there, but he's up there. He's up there. Nah, yeah. he ain't up there, bro. He was born in 1961, so how old is that? It's old. Uh, like 50-something. Like, yeah, it's like 50. Yeah, about 50-something. Well, don't worry. He'll be... He'll still be in the game industry. Maybe maybe Nintendo got him to come over there and help them out. <laughs> imagine this, though. Imagine, yo, we go to E3, right? Imagine we go to E3. All of a sudden... We go to the Microsoft press conference, and you know they start to sit down. All of a sudden, Jack, Jack Trent walks on stage or something. Do you know how much fanboy would be coming out of Ed at that point? The victory pose he'd probably be doing. If what? Oh, if what happened? If he came out during Microsoft? If he came out, if he came out on stage during the Microsoft press conference, said that he was actually joining up with Microsoft to do something. I would say that he's the greatest fucking person ever. Oh my God, troll. <laughs> 